Hello there, I'm Carly and welcome to The Last Grown Up in the Woods. Today I am doing a video response for Adam from The Weekend Hiker and he wanted to hear about my favorite ultralight or lightweight hiking gear. So here it is. I chose my pristine water drops. Now these are the same things as Aquamira in the United States. I don't know if they're the same company and just marketed it under a different name or, or, or whatever, but they're pretty much the same thing. So they are water purification. I usually stick to these instead of a filter. I'm lucky enough to live in an area where the water is fairly clear, so I don't really need to filter out a lot of stuff, but I still need to, to treat it for Giardia and Cryptosporidium and things like that. So they're fantastic, they're super light, they last for about 60 liters. Um, a set of these will easily get me through a season or a season and a half, so uh, awesome stuff. They treat your water with chlorine dioxide. So what you want to do is you want to take a little cap. Usually there's a cap on this, but we've lost it. Um, so you take five drops of this and five drops of this. Wait five minutes. It'll turn yellow and then you add that to your water and you wait 15 minutes. Ah, jarty of free water. So when you add B, the phosphoric acid, it really takes the taste out of the chlorine dioxide. So you don't taste much. You can taste a little bit. There are a few limitations, however. One is that you do not want to freeze these. I, I just, like last week, had these in my car and one of them broke open and um, kind of leaked all over my other gear. Also, if you tend to hike places where you have to get your wadi water from kind of murkier sources, you'll want to go for a filter. If I am stuck with that, then I'll just add some Gatorade powder or some crystal light or something to take away the flavor. It's still safe to drink the grosser water with these, but just not that pleasant. When I went to Central America, I bought the ones that were like twice this size, thinking that they'd last longer, but they didn't actually have the droppers. So I had to pour them in and measure them. So I almost always had too much. And then I was also using the lid and eventually using the lid to make it seal, ruined the seal. So the chlorine dioxide ended up leaking all over my bag and bleaching a bunch of my clothes. And since I only had one pair of pants and like one shirt, um, I wore bleached clothes for a couple months. So those ones are obviously meant for bigger groups. So given those limitations, I also sometimes carry this if I think that I'm going to be somewhere where the water is going to be kind of mucky or sometimes just for a backup. So this is the Frontier Pro filter. It is made by Aquamira actually. I kind of bought it when I was shopping for Pristine one day up north and this was all I had. So it kind of functions as a life straw and a Sawyer squeeze. So it's sort of a cross between a life straw and a Sawyer squeeze. I so there are three main ways that I can use it. The first one is to use it as a straw. You just stick that in the water and the other way is to actually put this into the hose of your hydration pack. Now it doesn't fit in my current hose and in the one before that I actually had to stick it into the mouthpiece and it still worked but it wasn't that convenient. But that I used it a lot back then. The third way to use it is you can just unscrew this and it'll fit on top of like a regular plastic bottle but I put it onto this big um, and then you can use it sort of like the Sawyer squeeze and, and you could squeeze out like that. So if you're interested in either of these products I have the Amazon.com links to them since this is the American Amazon. It's uh, it's linked to Aquamira. Anyway, check out Adam over at The Weekend Hiker. So long and see you next week-ish.